Hi, I'm Anthony Kimani, Kenyan national team and AFC Leopards defender. Peace has been elusive all over the world and uh, as a footballer I think football has been used in very many countries, South Africa, Rwanda and very many other countries uh, to initiate uh, peace and cohesion uh, amongst the different communities that are warring in those particular countries and so as a footballer I think I've got a responsibility to try and preach peace because without peace we cannot have football and since football is one game that I really love the most I think we need to have peace for us to have a conducive environment to play football so I think that uh, both peace and football go hand in hand so as a footballer I think I've got the responsibility uh, to, peace, peace, to preach peace. I can recall my first match uh, with the national team. We were playing against uh, Guinea. Uh, and I think that was the first time that I saw Kenyan, Kenyans from all, all walks of life uh, come together and celebrate uh, in, in, in unison to the progress of, 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 of our national team. Uh, for a long time, I think Kenyans have been divided along tribal lines and political lines. And I think football is the only factor that uh, tends to bring us together. And on, on that particular day, uh, that was uh, really evident. That is a very, very uh, sp special day where we all uh, set aside uh, our differences, uh, our cultural differ uh, differences, tribal and, 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 and other sorts of, of issues that tend to, to divide us, uh, to, do, to divide the human race. So I think this is a very, very special day where we all come, come forward and, and for the sake of peace, uh, uh, forgive each other and of course uh, apologize if we've uh, wronged our fellow human. Well, I think peace to me means the world, and the world means peace, because I don't think uh, we can have a world without peace. And uh, as I think we are all aware, peace is a catalyst to development. And uh, if the human race is developing, then I don't think there'll be a lot of conflicts among, amongst uh, ourselves, because I think uh, the most uh, uh, sources uh, of conflicts are either uh, unfulfilled uh, uh, lives, the personal lives, and I think the scramble for, for human resource. So I think we, if we coexist peacefully, uh, then I think each one, each, each one of us will get their fair share of what uh, they feel or they are entitled to in our society and we'll all coexist uh, peacefully. Uh, well, I'll have to be honest, I think I have been moved uh, to action today uh, by, by Mr. Jeremy because it, uh, it, has, it has demonstrated to me or it has shown me uh, just uh, what kind of a difference one man can bring to the whole world. He started this initiative over, I think, 17 years ago and right now I think this initiative has really, really grown and uh, earlier on we were told that uh, it has reached about a billion people. So I think that goes to show uh, just what uh, one human being uh, uh, can do to the, to the entire world. That would be forgiveness. I think uh, it's the most sad thing to do as human beings. Yes, it's, it's preached every day, every now and then, uh, but I think as human beings and personally, I think I still uh, tend to struggle with that. So I'd like to be a really forgiving human being. Well, on the 21st of September, I think I'd like to make peace with whoever will be around me and more so uh, with the entire world and I think I'll take, uh, I'll take, I'll take, it, take it upon myself to go, to, to go on my Facebook page and just uh, write something little to, to preach peace to the world.